The Azerbaijan Strategic Studies Center, along with the Turkish Policy Quarterly and Caucasus International Magazines, organized a conference on forging the future of the Caucasus, the past 20 years and its lessons at Bakus Hilton Hotel. The conference discussed the political and economic positions of Azerbaijan, Georgia and Armenia, potential changes in the current situation, and the role of the U.S. in resolving regional problems. The main panelists, including the general advisor to former Armenian President Gerard Libadnian, Georgian Strategic and International Studies Foundation President Alexander Rondeli, and Azerbaijani MP Rasim Zabayev noted that the region's development and security hinges on the question, who are we and which way should we go? The people of the Caucasus are still asking themselves the question, who are we? Georgia's slogan about its people being the wisest yet the most alcoholic has been troublesome. But today we see that everything depends on economy and national security. Today Georgia is seeking a balance between national security and democracy, noted Rondeli. The question of neighborly relations between the South Caucasian countries and what neighborly relations mean for them was also subject to heated discussion. Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia still blame one another for their problems. In all three Caucasian countries, the rule of law is understood as chauvinism. But chauvinism is not democracy. Wars and disputes break out when state policy and ethnic desires coincide. All of these problems must be addressed, said Gerard Ribardian. In spite of these problems, the independence of the South Caucasian countries is permanent. These countries are not willing to sacrifice their independence to the West or to Moscow. Azerbaijan and Georgia have chosen to integrate with Europe, but there are Russian military forces in Armenia and its economy is dependent on Russia, stressed Rasim Musabaya. We cannot speak about integrity and security in the South Caucasus region until the Nagorno-Karabakh problem is solved. This can be ensured only once the 700,000 Azerbaijani IDPs have moved to their homes. For this, Armenia must desist with its policy of aggression, said Eivaz Hussainov, an activist from the Azerbaijani community of Nagorno-Karabakh. Rafa Gulazada, former state advisor on foreign policy affairs, compared the consequences of the past 20 years for the South Caucasus with consequences of natural disasters such as tsunamis and earthquakes. The tsunami and earthquake is Russia, the future of the region depends on democracy. If democracy and Western integration is ensured, the state borders will have symbolic meanings, as they do in Europe, said Gulzada. Armenia is weaker than Azerbaijan and Georgia. Azerbaijan and Georgia will develop. In all cases, development is realized through good relations with neighbors. But Armenia is on bad terms with Turkey and Azerbaijan. I cannot say definitely who is stronger. You can claim that you are strong, as you have a strong economy and oil. But this is not decisive in the settlement of disputes. It is high time to resolve this conflict, said Gerard Libadian. At the conclusion of the conference, the Azerbaijan Strategic Studies Center and Georgian Strategic and International Studies Foundation signed a Memorandum of Mutual Understanding.